In this topic, we will learn how to carry out the process of completing the square for a quadratic polynomial ax squared plus bx plus c and use a completed square form. There are two main scenarios when completing the square. The first scenario is when the coefficient of x squared is 1 and the second scenario is when the coefficient of x squared is not 1. Let's see how we go about the two scenarios. Completing the square when the coefficient of x squared is 1. The general form for completing the square when the coefficient of x squared is 1, where the quadratic is x squared plus bx plus c, is x plus b over 2 o squared minus b over 2 squared plus c. Let's take for example the quadratic x squared plus 5x minus 6. The first step is to rearrange the equation into the form x squared plus bx plus c. In our case, our equation is already in that form. The next stage would be to divide b by 2. In this case, b is 5, so b divided by 2 is 5 over 2. Substitute into the general completed square form. This becomes x plus 5 over 2 squared minus 5 over 2 squared plus in brackets negative 6. Now let's simplify that. And we get x plus 5 over 2 o squared minus 49 over 4. And that is how you complete the square when the coefficient of x squared is 1. Now let's look at how to complete the square when the coefficient of x squared is not 1. Let's take for example the quadratic 2x squared plus 9x plus 10. The first step is to rearrange the equation into the form ax squared plus bx plus c. In our case, the equation is already in that form. The next step would be to factor out the coefficient of x squared from the first two terms. This becomes 2 open brackets x squared plus 9 over 2 x close brackets plus 10. Now let's complete the square for the quadratic inside the parentheses using the method outlined above, i.e. completing the square when the coefficient of x squared is 1. If we complete the square for the terms inside the bracket, we get x plus 9 over 4 squared minus 9 over 4 squared. Let's simplify that and it becomes x plus 9 over 4 squared minus 81 over 16. Now let's simplify the overall expression by removing the square braces. And this becomes 2 open bracket x plus 9 over 4 squared minus 81 over 8 plus 10. Let's further simplify the terms outside the bracket to get our final answer. This becomes 2 open brackets x plus 9 over 4 squared minus 1 over 8. Now, given the completed square form, we can deduce the vertex. The vertex is also known as the stationary point, maximum or minimum point, or the turning point. And if your completed square form is in the form x plus b squared plus c, the coordinates of the vertex are minus b, C, 